Welcome, dear friends. My name is Greg. The name of my show is Spiritism, Healing, and Meditation. This is Kardak Radio, nourishing your soul 24 hours a day with over 4,000 podcasts. Our podcasts are available on YouTube, Spotify, SoundCloud, or kardakradio.com or the Facebook presence of Kardak Radio. It's a 100% volunteered radio station, and your donations are welcome. You can go to kardakradio.com, and you can contact us, ask questions, or send in a donation. We have a Twitter account as well. We thank you for joining me. This is show number 10, Spiritism, Healing, and Meditation. Let us take a moment to connect with God and ask for his, her blessing for this show. Heavenly Mother, Father God, we sit humbly in your presence in this talk about spiritism and meditation. We thank you for all the blessings you send us. We thank you for the blessing now, for connecting with those on this connection through Facebook. We ask for the blessings and guidance from Master Jesus and from the good spirits, the mentors from Kardec Radio. Please bless us and guide us and inspire us with words that will uplift and heal. We thank you for your continued love and affection, and so be it. Thank you. So my show today is Spiritism, Healing, and Meditation, show number 10. And in this I would like to start out with a beautiful quote from Emmanuel talking about meditation. And I would like to connect with my understanding of meditation from the eastern side, from from India, from studying with um, over the many, many years and decades uh, meditation that I studied with a master and compare the similarities and the beautiful synchronicities of these two systems, one that came from the biblical side and one that came from India, and show how they are very, very similar. And it is very exciting for me, since I studied quite a bit of the Eastern approach, uh, of course, I was raised Catholic, so I did know quite a bit about that as well. And through Spiritism is the the knitting needles that bring those together. And it is a, a beautiful understanding and can clarify and uplift one. So let me start with this quote from Emmanuel, from the way, the truth, and the life. And the section is 168. It's called Meditating. And there's a quote from Mark uh, 632. So they went away by themselves in a boat to a secluded place quote from Jesus, and now Emmanuel's section. Your hands get tired from doing and undoing. Your eyes are filled with anxiety caused by surrounding disturbances. Your feet hurt because of painful recapitulations. Your feelings come and go 
due to tumultuous impulses influenced by a thousand different people. Your heart is in a torment. All this is natural. Our mind needs peace as much as parched land needs cool water. Thus, go to a secluded place in the land within yourself in order to rest a bit. Forget societal boundaries, the restrictions of the home, your family's lack of understanding towards you, difficult issues, disquieting problems, and inferior thoughts. Withdraw from the ordinary place to which you are normally attached. For a few minutes, in Christ's company, concentrate while in the boat of your purest thoughts on the sea of daily worries. He will relieve your troubled, filled mind. He will soothe your wounds. He will give you healthy advice. Just keep quiet, and his voice will speak to you in the sublime silence. Offer him a various heart full of faith and accomplishment, and his divine hands will do the rest. In this way, you can return to the circles of struggle, reinvigorated, strong, and happy. Your heart will be with him so that you may act successfully in the valley of toil. He will be with you so that you may tirelessly climb the mountain of the light. A beautiful description. And so, Jesus is saying to take time to meditate. As we know, Jesus did go and meditate in the quiet times where he clearly was in that silence of the inner being of his heart, communing and listening to God. And that is the difference between praying and meditating. <clears throat> in fact, the chapter just before this chapter called Meditating that we just read, Emmanuel has a section called Praying. So he clearly does separate praying and meditating. Praying is asking God, thanking God. It is an active thought connecting with God, originating from you, or a feeling. Meditating is actually reversing the process of thinking. In meditation, there are many types of meditation. Um, we did explore, although breathing is not a, a meditation per se, uh, we did explore a few shows back the, uh, the breathing techniques that the yogis do um, in, in yoga, and it's called uh, pranayama, which actually means the cessation of the breath. That through the practice of, you remember we were, we were doing it this way, breathing out and in and out and in. You can go back and review that if, if you're interested. I don't, it's probably called pranayama on the uh, prana, P-R-A-N-A-Y-A-M-A, -A prana and yama, the two words put together. So it is a way of calming down the physiology and through this process, the various functions of the body slow down. Your breathing will start slowing down. Your 
your um, heart rate will slow down, your blood pressure will will slow, will become less, um, things like that, which indicate a state of meditation. But that is not a meditation per se, uh, at least in the yogic tradition. So the, the other types of meditation that there are, there is one called yantra. A yantra, you've seen those yantras with lots of with triangles within triangles that draw you into the middle, and there's many, many triangles there, and you and you keep shifting and, and seeing different patterns, and you and you get mesmerized, as it were. And it's a state of of quietudes that, that's produced through visual. And so that's one way to meditate is through the visual experience, starting with something in the, uh, the objective field, the material realm, with starting with a picture and having that settle the mind down and we begin to be more relaxed and, and go within like that. The other type of meditation that's similar to that is, is staring at a candle. And that's, that's something that some people do. But what I was trained in was, was, was transcending through sound. The sound is produced inside, think on the thinking level. The sounds that are used in meditation are called mantras. And a mantra basically is a meaningless sound. It doesn't have a meaning, so you don't get caught up on contemplating different aspects of this meaning. So it's just a sound that allows you to go within. And the sound, you basically follow the sound back to its source. And where is the source? Well, ultimately, the source is, is God. God is the source of everything. So you quiet the mind down. The mind settles down deeper and deeper and deeper until you get to this source, of which the yogis call samadhi or nirvana, or a temporary samadhi, a temporary nirvana, which means just while you're meditating. Um, and that is a process of meditation through, through sound. Of course, you can, you can transcend through any one of the senses, but those are the two easiest ones to transcend through, the sight and sound. So... Um, when we meditate, um, the, the various aspects of the physiology change to indicate that we are changing. For instance, I, I mentioned earlier, we have our heart rate slows down because our mind is quieting down. When our mind quiets down, the body starts quieting down. It's like the four legs of a, of a table. You pull one of them, the other three follow you. So as you quiet the mind down in a meditation, then the physiology will reflect that. There will be more coherence between the left and the right side of the brain. All these have been, has been documented, particularly in Transcendental Meditation. They have what's known as the Collected Papers, and they have thousands of studies. Um, thousands of studies. The, the original study was done by Dr. Keith Wallace and Dr. Herbert Benson. They did the original studies in the early 70s, I think it was, might even be 1970, or possibly 69. They collaborated together and found out that the, the practice of transcendental meditation did reduce the uh, physiological parameters, uh, including the galvanic skin response, which means your skin is getting uh, less moist and the resistance goes up, indicating that you're more relaxed because you know when you're nervous, your palms are sweaty. And when you relax, you won't be sweating. And so the, the change in, this, in the skin resistance, many, many different uh, studies have been done to indicate that. Um, so clearly, what Jesus is talking about is taking that time to settle the mind down and listen to God. And that's what the manual is talking about in this short little section that he commented on 
Jesus' quote, to listen to God. Praying is asking and meditating is listening to God. And what, what is that? What are those things that happen in a meditation? Well, we know when we are quiet in a meditation, when we are sitting there very silently, we may get inspirations. When we settle down the busy mind in, in our day, if we take time out to meditate by some method, we close the eyes, we go within, as it were, as Manuel used that expression. We go within, we settle down, and we may get visions if we're visually oriented, or we may get auditory if we are more auditorially uh, inclined. Uh, we may get inspirations, or we may just even fall asleep if the body is fatigued. That silence that we started will help us to get a few minutes of rest. So it's not unusual for someone practicing meditation to actually fall asleep. But he's falling asleep from a very deep level. And so it's much more beneficial. Um, so that's what I'd like to, to share with you today is the value of meditation coming from Jesus and coming from the Eastern approach of meditation. So we would like to do a, a visualization and a healing prayer next. I did this last week and the prayer and the visualization I thought was was something I wanted to continue because it was a beautiful one. It started from the uh, the back of the book in the Gospel according to Spiritism. It started with the with a prayer, a healing prayer from there, which got slightly changed as I was copying it down, uh, slightly modified, and I was happy with with what was written. So we will start with that. I'll start with the Schubert Ave Maria to settle down, a picture of Jesus, and we will do that now.
keeping our eyes closed, let us first visualize us as a small child. See that small child and look into the eyes of the small child, which is us, and say, I forgive you. You are forgiven. I love you. I thank you. You are forgiven. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I love you. Let us also visualize someone that we may have hurt. Someone who was a friend and something went wrong. See that person standing beside you and look into their eyes and say, I am sorry. Forgive me. I love you. Thank you. And dear God, and you can repeat this mentally as I read it. Dear God, please use me as an instrument of healing to cure this infirmity of mine. And you can put in the infirmity, whether it's physical, emotional, mental. I have faith in you and know that all things are possible with you. Please free me from all thought of pride and selfishness, which may alter their purity. I humbly beseech you to permit your good spirits to concentrate their beneficial fluids in me, so that I may transmit them to this part of me that is ill. Thank you, good spirits. Let us visualize a shower of God's healing light being poured over this ill area of ours. Sustain this image of light, healing, soothing the damage or diseased area. This light of God coming through Jesus and the good spirits restores balance and reinvigorates health. See this light not only healing the physical vessel, but the para-spiritual body. See the cells becoming alive with new joyous energy, happy to be part of God's plan to carry out this holy work. See this loving light of God pour over the entire spark of God we call the soul. May this heavenly divine light elevate me, this spirit, to learn from this mistake 
that cause the disease. May it infuse wisdom and discernment so that future thoughts, feelings, and actions do not cause harm to anyone. See yourself healthy, happy, vibrant, glowing in the divine light, a heart full of love and acceptance of all. Thank you, Holy God. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, spiritual mentors that are sent by God for this healing. want to thank the good spirits who have been here with us today. <clears throat> we want to thank for the inspiration from God for this show. We want to thank Master Jesus, Heavenly Mother, Father God. We thank you for this opportunity to join together, to be with our friends and we thank you for all the blessings you give us we thank the good spirits that bring those blessings to us every day we thank you we thank you we thank you many blessings dear friends 
Until next time, may God always be lively in your heart and may you share those beautiful blessings with all around you. So be it.